Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a strategy that will help address some challenges that some folks have been having using several of the reports in the Civil 3D tool space. As an example of one of these reports, if we look at the general legal description for parcels, this is a report that will automatically read the Civil 3D objects and automatically create legal descriptions based on the geometry that was used to create those parcels. Very, very powerful tool. Uh, however, it leverages some ActiveX technology that may not be supported in some of the brow browsers that are currently being used. So let's take a look at a strategy how we can perhaps get around some of those challenges. What I'm going to do, I'm going to double click on the report itself, which is going to automatically export for me uh, in an XML format the parcel geometry uh, to the uh, report tool. So we'll go ahead and click OK to allow it to do that. And when it comes up, the once again, this ActiveX technology is uh, uh, bringing up this dialog over the top of what I'd like, and it's just not formatting itself on the screen in a way that is going to make it very useful for me to use. Uh, if I'd like to append to the report, when I click Append, it's updating this to the top, not necessarily functioning the way that I would expect. Now, I'm currently using Chrome. Uh, ideally, this tool works best in Internet Explorer and actually an older version of Internet Explorer, uh, Internet Explorer version 5. So for me to fix it, I don't want to say in a permanent sense, but so that I don't have to deal with it each time I go in, ideally I would set Internet Explorer as my default browser, which I like Chrome, so I don't want to have to do that. The second thing is I would set my Internet Explorer to an older version of Internet Explorer, which I, I don't want to do that either. I'd like to be able to take advantage of the the current tools and features that exist in that application. So what can I do to still get this tool to function? We'll do this. I'm going to double click. We'll say OK. When it comes up, I'm going to copy this path that was created. So we'll copy that to my clipboard. I'll close Chrome because that's my default browser. I'm going to launch Internet Explorer and then I'm going to paste that using Control V up to the top bar here. And when I do that, I get a similar experience as to what I had in Chrome. I'll now come down to the bottom and we'll allow the block content for this ActiveX control. And then what I'm going to do is within Internet Explorer, I can run this instance of Internet Explorer as an older version. I'm going to do that by hitting F12. So we'll hit the function key 12 and it automatically brings up kind of a debugging scenario for us with some tools in that that exist in the bottom. Now depending on the version of Internet Explorer that you're running, you'll either have a pull down here that will let you select a different browser version, or in my case I've got just an icon here of a uh, computer. I can click on the down arrow and I can come down and, and select a, an older version. So I'm currently running 11. I'm going to come down and select 5. That will be the best version for this tool. So when I select that, I see that the tool is now updated on the screen and I don't have things written over the top of each other. So if I'd like to create a legal description for all of my parcels, we'll select all of those. Uh, I can continue to fill out the, uh, the dialogue as needed. And now when I click Depend to Report, it automatically provides for me all of the information for each of my lots. The tool itself still functions as it has historically, if you're somebody that's used it before. Let's go ahead and uh, save and print report. We'll see the information displayed on the screen. And I can even right click and we'll go to print preview. And the print preview will automatically create for me a, uh, a page for, uh, for each one of my lots. So there's lot four, five, six, all the way through. I believe there's about 99 lots here. All right, so using that uh, one strategy of... Uh, if I'm somebody who uses Chrome as my default, what I can do is take the path that's automatically ger generated as part of the report, bring it over to Internet Explorer, then go through and create, uh, using the F12 key, an instance of my Internet Explorer that is an older version. That tool, as well as some of the other reports that you may be having uh, challenges with, will allow us to continue to leverage those moving forward. So hope this information helps, and I'll talk to you again real soon. See ya.